Uh, so all this week, then, we've been hearing about things that you can you can look forward to doing again from Monday. I mean, there, there are quite a few things that you can do again from Monday that you might not have perhaps done in the first place, to be honest, like 10-pin bowling or bingo. Taking the kids to soft play areas. I'm excited about that for my young ones because, I mean, get rid of some of their energy. Get them home. They might be a bit more chilled out. Uh, drinking inside a pub is a big one as well. Today is the turn of cinema too. Yeah, so, I mean, last time they reopened, the only new movie you could see was Tenet, which, I'll be honest, I wanted to like a lot, but it was a bit confusing, really. All the others were classic films. So, I mean, is it going to be different this time round? Mark Gallagher is the manager of the Arc Cinema in Hucknall. Afternoon, Mark. Afternoon, how you doing? Yeah, good, thanks. Thanks so much for joining me. I mean, I think I could probably guess the answer to this question, but how are you feeling about Monday? Oh, so excited. It's, it's unbelievable. I mean, excited to get open and see people's faces and do, you know, day-to-day -day stuff. Uh, having six months off was all well and good, but I'm keen to get back to it. Uh, but I'm a huge movie fan, so we've got loads of films coming out and I'm just dead excited to see them. Yeah, we need to talk more about those movies as well, obviously. But, I mean, in, how is it going to work? I mean, is it going to be like the same that it always was, which, I mean, does seem such a long time ago. How is it going to work in terms of people watching movies and going into a screening? Yeah, so if, you, if you're talking about COVID specifically, then um, we've got all the safety measures you could possibly think of. Uh, social distancing is taken care of by the online booking systems. When you book when you book seats for you and your partner or your family, the two seats to your left and right are blocked off. Uh, the social distancing markers throughout the building, uh, sanit everything's sanitised and cleaned regularly, hands are washed, everyone's wearing masks, etc., etc. So in terms of safety, uh, you know, everyone's safety is paramount. Right. Well, this sounds good already. OK, so in terms of films, I mean, uh, so many over the last year or so have got, kind of gone to Disney or Amazon or Netflix. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of like habits, and I think we've all changed our habits and it's been long enough now that they have become kind of firm habits. Do, do you think we've kind of got out of that habit of going to the cinema? Um, well, a lot of the big studios have been trialling, uh, putting things on streaming services. So um, so far this year and probably for the rest of the summer maybe you'll see big films released simultaneously in cinemas and uh, on streaming services but the business model just doesn't work the, the studios make so much money at cinemas compared to streaming that it's not something that's going to go away if, if people are thinking that films are going to be released on streaming services going forward that's not the case at all so it's 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 purely a, a thing for this year so um Give it, give it a few more months, and if people really want to see these films, it's going to have to be on the big screen as they were intended. I mean, that is the thing as well, because it's not just about watching the movie on your telly. It's the whole experience as well. And as a film buff yourself, you must be all about that, I guess. Well, it's funny, but I've been in the cinema today with a few of the staff just cleaning and getting things organised, and we wanted to fire up all the equipment and test it out. So we, we put a, a film on one of the screens, and you just forget how incredible it is seeing it on the big screen immersed with sound it's just there's literally there's honest i mean i've got a decent tv at home but there's nothing like it yeah i mean that is the thing like the rumble of some big blockbuster kind of almost shaking your seat and just Absolutely. that whole immersive experience is is amazing so let's talk about the excitement of monday i mean what are you going to be showing so we've got a couple of films on the screen on the big screen that have previously been released on um streaming so we've got godzilla versus king kong and mortal kombat which have both been on um you know sky premiere and amazon and netflix and whatnot but then we have got some brand new releases, such as Peter Rabbit 2, which is so far our biggest pre-booking film. We've sold, we've actually sold out one screen on Sunday for that, so we've had to wow. put another one. Um, we've got a new film in the Saw franchise called Spiral, which looks good. Uh, Angelina Jolie stars in a new film called Those Who Wish Me Dead by the writer of Sicario and Hello High Water, so I'm really looking forward to that one. And then um, the following Friday, Cruella is released. Uh, and The Conjuring 3. And then the Friday after that, Quiet Place 2 comes out. So honestly, there, there's a plethora of films lined up, ready to go. Wow, there really is. I'd forgot, I, I, kind of being out of the loop, I mean, I'd kind of gone, oh, okay, yeah, just sort of put that to one side. And then you go, there's a lot of good stuff to watch, actually. Yeah. We we should talk, when, when's Bond happening? I mean, it, it, that seems to have been pushed back so many times. I know. Well, it's been pushed back that many times. It actually, a lot of people don't realise this, it was actually brought forward quite recently. So it's now out September 30th. It was supposed to be October uh, right. Six, I think, but Sony have bought it. Uh, sorry, uh, Universal have bought it forward, so it's now September thirtieth, and we've been sort of assured that the chances of that moving again are very slim. So we can really look forward to that. That is apps that and Top Gun two are the two films everybody's asking about yeah top gun too i'm excited about that as well i mean yeah big time here's the thing though right and i think this is true of everything that we're getting back to 
that everybody, you know, you're excited. Of course it's exciting, but there is also that slight nervousness of what it's going to be like. And it's been a long time since I've gone into these environments. So if somebody is a little bit nervous or scared about, Mm -hmm. say, going back to the cinema, what what would you say to them? I would just urge them to consider that, um, you know, they've been in and out of supermarkets all these months and um, now things are slowly, gradually opening up. They've been to parks and whatnot. And we, 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 even though we are, we are indoors, so there's no getting away from that, we are, um, you know, the fresh air in the air conditioning system is, is state of the art. We uh, social distance, like I said before, everything's clean, sanitized. Everyone's safety is at utmost important right now, and um, including this. I've got to keep the staff safe as well. They're important. Um, but it's just all, literally we've had all the staff in today. We've done a little induction course on COVID and just making sure it's at the top of everyone's mind. Right. Well, this is good. Uh, so good luck for Monday, I suppose, really, is the thing to say. I mean, Thank you. What's it, are you going to sleep Sunday night at all? What's it going to be like? <laughs> I'm, dead, I'm Honestly, I'm so excited. On, on one hand, I am going back to work after six months off. But I'm just, yeah, so I'm a, I've been a huge cinema fan all my life, and I'm just so excited. I just can't wait. Well, have a great yeah. time. It's going to be amazing. Mark Gallagher, the manager of the Arc Cinema in Hucknall. And, of course, we got a little flavour there, didn't we, about all the films you can see on the big screen. And it sounds like there are going to be loads. So before five, you'll hear more about the blockbusters that are heading your way this summer. And by the sound of things, there's been a big sort of backup, really, of them. So it's it's going to be good. There's going to be a lot to watch. Uh, right, just coming up to 16 minutes past four now. If you're out and about on the roads in newer countries,